Hello, hello, hello. What's, how's it going, Mr. Mencia? How's it going? Where was I? Uh, when last we left off, um, we taken out three bosses, I think. Put my phone there. Um, take, took out three bosses, I believe: Amygdala, Michelash, and Abridus. Um, my aim today is to uh, finish up the Nightmare Immensus, not fight Murgo. Uh, but instead, we will jump into the DLC today, and then work our way through that, and like, then come back, fight Murgo, and potentially finish the rest of the game. So, without further ado, game footage now. But anyway, what's up, Mencia? How was your day? Everything all right at home now. Mm. Little I'm gonna go cross that bridge and deal with uh, the brain of Mensis. Should be an open window shortly, like right here. And now I'll have access to that fucking bridge. Um, let's get some sedatives on that bar. Ugh. And let's also throw on the Ash and Hunter set. Or as much of it as we can. Um, I also spent a bit of my insight uh, to reduce how much uh, the frenzy, how, how fast the frenzy builds up. Over here. What do we got? What do we got? Inflicted organ. Disgusting. Alright, now let's play the game of where. The fuck is that Winter Lantern? And the game is, can it see me? No? Good. Alright, here it comes. There we go. Do what we can to kind of get the jump on it, but I'm not sure how you would get the jump on Nebu Huga. Oh yeah, get it. Oh no, oh no. It's a bad time. I have the cannon, I have the cannon. Equinox, what up? How's it hanging, guys? How's your day? Equinox, did you play Bloodborne the other day? 
after you uh, done looked at the stream. Start a new character. Oh shit. Okay, two more. Maybe if I can, maybe if I can knock him down with the cannon. Yo! Oh boy, that was a real bad time. Oh, come on with your grab attack. I think I'm also sitting at 39 deaths so far. Heal up. Oh, no! Okay, uh, get it going. Get it going. I hate the Winter Lantern so much. I just can't. Oh, really? I just can't figure out like a good way to fight them. If there is any. Like, bum rushing them doesn't really work as well as I would like. God. Oh, I hate this enemy so much. Ah, got to the competitive too late. Competitive. All right, that that cost me way too many blood vials. And way too many sedatives. It's like there really is no safe way to fight the Winter Lantern without getting frenzied to some extent. Bullets. How you guys doing tonight and seeing watching me sweat over these weird looking fucking creatures? Got three blood vials left. Oh boy. Pulling this lever here will um, drop the brain. Bucket, mother brain. Very nice. Very nice. I, I used to drink Mountain Dew in my teenage years. Ah, the fucking another one. Nope. Fuck that, not today. Not today. Does he stay down? Does he stay down? 
I don't think there's any other enemies down here. So, hey, arcane damp blood gems. Everyone's wisdom. More wisdom. A lot of wisdom. Yeah, so these great ones, wisdoms yield about, I think, five insight each. Is really good, huh? You know the uh, I haven't had an Arizona in quite a while, um, because I just can't seem to find the the uh, the uh, green tea with citrus and cucumber anywhere aside from where I used to live out in Brooklyn. Um, I miss it. I miss it so much. This is shortcut. Oh shit, look at that. I'm back in Mikalash's arena. That is some dog do. But hey, now we know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. A lot of emotes going on in the chat. Uh, safe drop in. Be wary of pit. Hey, that's the blood rock, everyone. We can plus ten one of the weapons. Back on that bridge where I fought uh, some dude with a sword. Oh, now we get to cautiously make our way back to Mikalash's room. Which, in hindsight, probably won't be very difficult. Hopefully, one of these guys here, these nice guys, will, uh, yield me some blood vials. a little bit. I think that is my elevator. Hey, there's more fucking cars going on. This is how we get to the brain. Oh yeah, because it's just uh, kind of in the dark. You just kind of walk up and find it. I never know if I'm at the bottom. Also, put a lamp on. <laughs> I think the brain is... Can I still see the elevator? Yeah. 
The brain is literally just straight ahead. But I honestly can't remember. Can I still see that elevator? Yeah. Oh no, there it is. Ish kind of see it. <laughs> now, if I make contact. Just wait a little bit. Look at this thing. Isn't it cute? I forget at which point the arms switch. <laughs> If they switch at all. There we go. Bam. Got a better moon rune. And now. The eviscerate mother brain. So on New Game Plus, um, Mother Brain doesn't drop that rune again. She drops, uh, oh, what does she drop? She drops, I think, like, uh, like an upgrade stone or like, a like, like the blood dews. They give you blood echoes. How fucked up would it be if I just walked away with it being within an inch of its life? But hey, I want that living string. Now back up we go. Oh no. You don't hide from me. Ooh. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh, that killed me? That killed me. <laughs> So uh, what is that? Death count. Since we were at 39 before, that was an even, even 40 now. 11 sessions in, 40 deaths. Um, and I very much want my blood echoes. Let's go grab them. Hopefully I can remember how to navigate this jackass's fucking labyrinth. I'm already sure I'm going the wrong way. Um, down. Down. Mm. 
Nope. I truly, truly despise this arena. Oh, did it? I, I, I saw some uh, screenshots, but I've been trained um, to not think anything of them. I'm gonna have to go and look at that. I am quite interested in the Elden Ring. Nice, okay. If PlayStation put out then it has to be legit. I myself am getting ready to watch E3. The bosses look insane. I saw a screen cap of some dude that had like a bunch of arms and a big ass axe. I would assume that's a boss, and that's something I generally don't want to tussle with, quite frankly. I think now I'm going the right way, but I remember there was a downward aspect that I did not go. That was during the boss fight, and I'm not dealing with ads during a boss fight. In the trailer, yeah, there was another one that like Gale from DS3. You know, I've I've never beaten Gale. I I can't uh like his third phase. I just can't get past it. Did I get two of the same runes? So we got moon. All right, we got level two and three. So the brain gives you level three, and the one I just picked up was level two. Yeah, I I, I could never beat Gale. Um, I did a sorcery build on a recent playthrough. Um, and I managed to beat Madeir for the first time. Um, and that, I was real ecstatic to beat Madeir using magic. The one way I never, ever thought I'd, I'd, I'd play Dark Souls. Yeah. It probably also didn't help my case in, um, in, in DS3 that, uh, I was playing on New Game Plus 7. So everything that touched me could have killed me. It was a long fight. It was, uh, I think I was at it for about maybe 12, 15 minutes. Just timing my stuff. Uh, was, there, was there a door around here? Yes. Question now becomes where my where my blood echoes.
I can't even fucking remember where they were now. Fell down here. Went over this way. That I've seen, I've seen that done, and it's it's ingenious, um, cheap but ingenious. Oh, guys, I think I might have lost my fifty fifty thousand blood echoes. I can't remember where I dropped them. Oh, I remember now. We're at the bottom level of this here. Um, I did... Uh, I think I might have done that with um, the Lothric and Lorien on that second phase. I stood behind him and he never aggroed in that second phase when, when, when Lothric's on his back. And I just kept hitting him with the mist. And they and they never once drew aggro towards me. And their health got low enough. I blasted them with a with a with, with a giant crystal soul arrow, and it was a wrap after that. Yeah, I remember when, when the Ring City came out, um, I attempted Madeira a number of times. I burned through all of my embers trying to trying to fight that dragon melee style. Um, I just couldn't do it. I tried calling in countless people. I called in like two people. Um, I, ha I have beaten Lawrence. And uh, when I get to that part in the DLC, my strategy is very specific. You've got my echoes, give me my shit back. Swing in the chain. Um, I essentially whirly gigged him to death. But I don't know if I'll have enough upgrade materials to get myself there again. Let's back out. Yeah, I watched um, a video that was, I kid you not, 45 seconds long, 35 seconds of it was this guy um, facing off against Ludwig. And uh, he, he beat Ludwig in like 30 seconds using the saw cleaver and some fire paper. Um, I think he also popped a beast pellet. But, yeah, both phases done in, in less than 35 seconds. It was crazy. Let's move clothes. To, I think get one level. The what is it you desire? The Whirligig for me, um, Very well. really the shown in the second half of the fight, where he's kind of crawling. You can get around behind him when there's not lava on the floor, and just grind him out. It's it's insane. Oh yeah, he's he's tough. He's so tough, like it, it, it's unbelievable. Farewell, good. Um, my favorite boss fight, boss fights in this game, hands down, 
uh, number one, number one favorite boss fight is is uh, Lady Maria. Hands down, my favorite fight in the game. Um, second favorite fight, German. Uh, as a lore implication, Ludwig. <laughs> She's just so dope. She's she's a vile blood, I believe. She's got some vile blood tech. Lying strength. Two of these. I got a bunch of these. We'll save off actually using the insight for now. Instead, I will supplement that. I'm still, I'm still sitting pretty good on blood vials. Supplement that with sedatives. Yeah, I actually never got a chance to, to, to play with the Rockio so much. Uh, my character was, wasn't really built for it. Um, this time around, I, I think I might do that because, you know, running Chicago. That's uh, DLC and Cathedral Ward. Yep, the Rockio is cool. It's, it's got a nice move set from what I played with a little bit. Um, it's just a great gimmick for weapon. It, it, it reminded me a lot of the Blades of Mercy. Speaking of, um, but it had a slightly longer reach, and that's what I kind of want. Where'd she go? Did you kill her? I will fucking end you. All right, hold on. We gotta go check. Ariana Grande. Yeah, the the trick L two for the Rockio is truly is a thing of beauty. I will kill the nun shortly. Um, hey, she gave birth. I honestly didn't think that happened until I beat Murgo. Yeah, her 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 deal is is definitely a sad one. Now, a lot of people, or at least from what I've read, a lot of people uh, kill Das Baby. Um, I don't see the harm in it. I generally like Ariana. I think she's great. Um. But I'll tell you what I, what I sure as hell don't like. Not a, not a big fan of the church. So let's go kill that nun. Yeah. Odin Rise. Rip none. All right, let's get into that DLC, which I think is accessible here.
right. And I can get to it by standing next to this tree, yeah? Yes. There we go. And their children forever. The real bloodborne starts here. <laughs> Honestly, this game, this DLC is why this game is tough. The, the, the base game itself, if, if you're not familiar with the series or prepared for what shenanigans you're about to get into, then yeah, the game is hard. But for me, a, 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 a very much seasoned Souls player, um, that DLC was something far and beyond like anything the ring city could have thrown at me. At the same time, I'm also low level 102. On my original playthrough of this game, I finished the game at around 118. So I'm literally 16 levels away. A little bit, a little bit. Um, I feel there could have been a little bit more resolution in the Ring City, but I'll take the endings I am given. Also, if you're gonna jump into the Old Hunters DLC, make sure you have a fucking plus nine weapon. That is for damn sure, that's a pro tip right there. These dudes are for real. Like, for real. And that weapon has range. As does all that shit. Oh, just fucking kill me. Thank you. God. Damn, whip swords are fucking metal as fuck. Blood vials. Thank you. The painting, um, the painting of Ariandel and Arianus, for that fact, um, both kind of symbolize a perpetuation of the cycle. So it's like each, each painting is a new cycle of Dark Souls, allegedly. I think that's the direction they were going in. Um, it seemed a little, you know, uh, tacky, in my opinion. But, hey, uh, Miyazaki felt it was, the, it, it was a good way to end the series. I'm not gonna hold that against him, he's done some really good content. In the games, but but Bloodborne is just such a fucking masterwork. It's it's so good. Um, in Dark Souls One, there's a character in the Artorias of the Abyss DLC called uh, I think is he's a magnificent or marvelous Chester, um, who's dressed like a Bloodborne hunter. And he, you know, explains that, hey, I was pulled through time to this to this place. And he just wants to go home. So by putting Chester in DS1, 
they kind of ish tied Bloodborne and and Dark Souls together. Are these games linked at all? Hell no. Um, although if you want to use the, uh, the 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 painting shenanigans, uh, you could argue that one of the paintings that eventually gets done is um, of Yarnum. But that's up for your interpretation. Um, I also don't think we'll get a Bloodborne 2. Uh, just because I'm not sure where where you would go with it. This this game bookends it bookends itself pretty well. Um, as much as I would love to see a Bloodborne 2, I'm just not sure where you would take the story and the narrative of it. Oh, absolutely. I, I, I have no doubt that, that those are the arch trees. I have no doubt that uh, the eldritch beings um, may, maybe even orchestrated the events of Dark Souls. Oh god, that fucking boom hammer. It's such a cool weapon. <laughs> here with his whip whip swords that fucking 360 clearance is such dog shit <laughs> the beast cutter is so busted um i don't actually i think bloodborne happens millennia's after DS. I mean, we could even go as far to speculate that, uh, the old one in Demon Souls, um, is a akin to a, to a, a great one, um, from, from Bloodborne. We, we, we can even go that far to say that. Um, I have a much easier time believing that um, that Demon Souls and Bloodborne are related more than Bloodborne and Dark Souls are related. Because the great one in Demon Souls, granted I've never played Demon Souls, I would love to, um, but I don't have a PS3 and I don't have a PS5, so... I don't think it's available on PS4. It is. Full LP? Maybe. Um, but... Yeah, because the, 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 the great one in Demon Souls is, is easily the orchestrator of the events in it, and whatever new players defeat it, become it. That's kind of the lore of it. You beat the Great One, you become the Old One. As a means of perpetuating the cycle once again. Um, Miyazaki's a big... A big fan of... Perpetuating... Um, perpetuating a story. It's just a wicked... Excuse me. It's just a, just an infinite loop of shenanigans. Uh, gotta go this way. Or, we go over this way. I will say this, the one thing I always get tired of in these fucking- Oh shit! I'm safe, man. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Fuck you. Uh, if you're curious, I'm using uh, the Evelyn as my rifle. Um, it doesn't have the same power behind it that the repeating pistol does, but it takes less bullets to use. Um, yeah, I, I intend to do every boss, um, excluding the Child's Dungeon bosses. Um, I actually have a list on my phone of uh, all the bosses that I wanted to get through. Uh, I think that's in my stream list. Hold on. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm not sure if you can... On this stream. Um, if I can get to them, I'll take... I'll take maybe a couple runs at them. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how, how quickly I can get to them. Because I forgot what fucking badasses these dudes are. Switch it up to the Chikage. Because at least the Chikage gives me a rapid poison. It's also statistically a bit stronger um, than my saw cleaver right now. Not because I spec it any different, it's just it's it's stat-wise normally it at its base it's just a stronger weapon. Sirens. Sirens going on right now on my stream. These motherfuckers. Saw Cleaver is better suited for these guys, hands down. Ooh, yeah, I like that super close quarters dodging. Ooh, back it up, back it up, heal it up. So I really like fighting hunters in this game. Uh, fighting where these, these regular enemies are fine, but the challenge of battling someone of your same skill level, if not a little better, um, appeals to me. I like doing the dance. The, the, the bobbing, the weaving, the, the gauging of distance. I live for this shit. Let's actually test, because these guys are harmless. 306. 310. Uh, granted, the saw cleaver has a natural advantage over, um, over beasts. Oh, fuck that Gatling gun guy hiding in the dark. Oh, the party cave. Yeah, the party cave is a problem. Um, I'm not doing party cave. Not on this stream, anyway. <laughs> um, Gatling gun, though, is a surprisingly good firearm. <laughs> yeah, because, like, in that cave, there's Gatling gun guy, there's... I think there's a Bloodstar Beast in there as well. And I'm not dealing with that. I mean, was it the the I, the weapon that's in there? Is I think the uh, the amygdala arm. Yeah, the party cave. That's what I call it. Um. Uh, the party cave is the cave here in the DLC that has the guy with the machine gun and the bloodstar beast in it, where it's dark and it's just 
it's it's a very not good place to fight. And there's that river of bloodsuckers in front of it, and not great. Hey, that's a flame ball fire. That's how you do that, kids. Kage. It is a good reward. The Amidala Arm is a fantastic weapon. Um, it's a great strength weapon. It, it, has, it It's great as a club. It's got a cool tricked up form. Um, maybe I'll give that a go. Maybe I'll try it if I can get a hold of it. Yeah. What was that? Two seconds. Cat pulling a pulling this water bottle. Oh yes, run, Cthulhu face. I love Cthulhu. I don't like fighting those things though. Let's top off for the sake of it. Um. Oh yeah, it's like a. It's very um. Like. like Disgusting is the word I guess I want to use. Um, oh yeah, this shit. I remember there were some some guns that were just hidden on the sides here. There. Yeah, so this is a downed amygdala. Which means these hunters are fucking putting in work taking these things out. my health bar. Holy shit, I was not paying attention. Yeah. This is first playthrough. Get to the Ring City. Fighting those enemies. Those. That's right. I forgot about these. Time cocktails. Oh, okay, back up me. Uh, hey, I will trade with the best of them. The payoff of blood vials is big. Law of Diminishing Returns is fantastic. What's on shards? Yeah, I remember they, they, they throw a bunch of upgrade stones at you in this DLC. Because they want you to, like, hey, your shit needs to be fucking tight, dog. Blade Molotov. Now the question is, do I drop down here, get that item, or... Oh! I'll deal with him first. Uh, we can come back here. There was something to this. Boom hammer. Cool. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. Uh, now actually... 
I remember there being a beastman here. A dude who could, like, turn into a beast. And we're gonna deal with him. We're gonna fight Wolverine right now. There he is. I would like to try a beast build in this game. See what it's like. Get him in that corner. <laughs> Get the old hunters and experiencing it and all that. Um, I'm honestly not too sure. Um, I think for certain though, we are definitely back in time. We are definitely back in time, hence all these old hunters who are just super badasses. Um, I think Yarnum was repaired and rebuilt to the game that we see it at as now. But I think, in all honesty, I think we are in um, Lady Maria's dream. Um, and this is her memory of how things were long ago. Um, however long that would have been. Uh, it could be 50 years ago, it could be... 100 years ago, we don't know. Um, but I think we're seeing it through her. Because if you're ever in the Hunter's Dream and you notice the doll is essentially kneeling at the DLC headstone, um, that, that headstone is noted to be a student, a former student of Gurman's. Um, so here's why I think, uh, it, it's Lady Maria's memory that we're in right, right now. Um, so the doll, as we know, is, a is created in Lady Maria's likeness by German. Um, every now and again, you'll see the doll kneel before the headstone that takes you to the DLC content from The Hunter's Dream. Um, I like to think that she's mourning who she thinks she is, or thought she was, the doll. Um, maybe she was giving love and remembering the old hunters. This is a dream. That's another way to look at it. That is another interesting thought to that. Um, yeah, that's actually a really good, a really nice reason. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean that that that's just one man's theory of it. Um, I think. Are you familiar with the guy on YouTube by the name of uh, Vati Vidya? He does a lot of um, lore videos for for Dark Souls and Bloodborne. Um, I I honestly can't remember if he did something for the old hunters. Um, I know he's got a video about Ludwig. Okay, hey, crazy arms. What up? Yeah, party cave is that way. Fuck that cave. Can we 
get the drop. No. I got back kicked. Fucking told me what's up. With her feet. Yeah, I... I, I, I almost want to say I think we've kind of bled this game dry of content. Um, I mean, people have, have gone deep into, like, the Chalice Dungeons or whatever. Oh no, this is a bad time. This is a real bad time, folks. Upstairs. Alright. Bait them. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I unfortunately think there's really nothing else to kind of get out of this game, like lore-wise. Because amidst Dark Souls, this this game kind of gives its lore a bit better. Is there? Because um, I know there's like a ton of bosses that are just like uh, the 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 Temerian Queen or Lady Arnhem is 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 a boss fight down there, and she has crazy lore implications. Um, I like the the concept that uh, the Chalice Dungeons were like this 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 ancient civilization. That Yarnum is now built on top of. I like that. I think that's fucking rad. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe there's more stuff to it. Uh, I haven't really. Again, I, I I don't have PS Plus, so I can't really utilize the Child's Dungeons to their fullest effect. Um. But there's 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 some pretty crazy shit down there. You're a hunter with your sanity, aren't you? Must have taken a wrong turn, then, eh? Well, we're more alike hmm. than you think. Interesting. This is the hunter. You As I, I I was playing, um, I was doing, I think the Temerian route, the central route, Chalice dungeon. Um, and I came across the uncanny, uh, threaded cane. I was like, that's cool. I've, I've, I've never seen the uncanny or, or, or lost weapons before. Um, but yeah, there's definitely new enemy types down there, like, uh, that scorpion. Um... The scorpion enemy that just isn't that just doesn't exist in 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 the core game or the DLC. Some do not wish to see the money covered, especially when the secrets are particularly unseemly. Really, there are messaging. Are me, there? Are, yeah. There are messenger merchants in the Chalice Dungeons. Uh, some guys. Can also be very offensive, though. Really? I didn't know that. All right, hey, shortcut. I like that. Shortcuts are fun. I had no idea. That's very interesting. Lower Hunter Tomb Layer 3 has a bath. I'm stuck on, um, I think Hunter Tomb. Actually, did I get to level 3? I, I, I can't remember. I, I know I, I did a run on that, on that particular tomb. I can't remember how far down I got. Oh, 
Ooh, that was two giant whiffs. You know what? I hate I hate the blood liquors. I hate them so much. Outside Kane Hurst, they're not bad. Um, this DLC, just everything is worse in this DLC. Hound. Who's your wolf? Wolf. Is there a third dog? Cold blood. Should ever get to first? Under tombs. No. Um, my chattel's dungeon knowledge is severely limited. Um, I've actually done them a lot more on this playthrough. Um, just to kind of see how far I can get. Sometimes. Um, but other than that, I, I really haven't done. Anything too intensive. It's like getting the, uh, since being the, uh, the Amagdala, recently got the, uh, the Ease, uh, Chalice. Get him, yes. Kill bird. Oh no. I think there's a dog back here. Yes, there's also a dude. Go up. Weak. Fire hurt. Yeah, it's like I, I, I have the regular <laughs> I have the regular Hunter Tomb Chalice. Um not my favorite. I will tell you that for free, not my favorite. It just felt like so unbearably difficult at like its lowest level. No? Uh drop your health bar to what you start. Oh shut up! No, really? That's not cool. <laughs> oh, that's 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 not nah. That's crazy. That's ridiculous. That ugh. like I'm so I'm so flabbergasted by that. That that's so crazy. That's ridiculous. It's essentially what like like Demon Souls is like. Oh, sorry, folks. Um, pretty much every time you die in Demon Souls, your health gets like. I think like 5% shorter your bar just shrinks until you you know pop whatever material makes you human again but that that's crazy there's the guy there's the guy ooh the turn slam He was just not stunned with that shit. He might get me, he might get me. He might not. He might, he might. Yeah, well, he fell. Aha. Uh -huh. um, it's actually a thing in, 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 in Dark Souls 2 as well.
I also agree with that. Yeah, it's it's dumb. Praise the cheese. Praise the cheese. What would the cheese be? Cheese be a triangle? And uh wow, I forgot shapes. Praise the triangle. Right, we are entering the field. Field where bad shit happens. A big and one. There he is. I can never find the second one before they move. To that shortcut and into that lamp, actually. Bam. Lamp it up. Give me upgrade material. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Good week time? Shortly. Shortly. I will probably run back to the Hunter's Dream real quick. Ooh, that's a big swing. I'm a big boy. <laughs> Where is he? Most I've ever picked up the fucking vermin. Oil urns. And we're gonna go get my favorite toy. Hey. Yes. The best strength weapon in the game, that goddamn Whirligig saw. Oh, well, shit. Alright. Run me. Alright. Alright. Trying to get in here? He's trying to get in here. <laughs> keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. Get back to the hunter's dream. And I'm gonna try to do uh what that guy did in the video with the uh, saw cleaver fire paper combo. So we're gonna prep that now. Where the fuck's my fire paper at? I passed it, didn't I? I'm dumb. There we go. Now these pellets. Get that ready. How much do I need? Welcome home. What is Burn? it? Level. Very well. Let me. A lot. Farewell. So I actually have. I'm gonna switch some runes around. 
because I don't, I'm not gonna need either of these. Um, take off moon, take off eye, put on, we got that on. Um. Hmm. Put lake on. Put lake on just for shits and giggles. And uh, clockwise metamorphosis to give myself a bit more health. Do big repairs. Get ready for Welcome me to throw to away desire. fucking blood vials. Very well, let enough. me stand close. Uh, right. Arcane, um, because it, it honestly, uh, Arcane comes at you so late in this game that if I were to spec towards Arcane, it would inhibit uh, my interactions for the rest of the game, for the earlier part of it anyway. Be a real cool sorcerer by the end of it, but at the start, nah. Uh, mostly, and, and again, mostly it's because there's there's no magic at the start of the game it's all very just kind of beat beat your head against these enemies farewell good hunter may you Let's see let's actually buy some more fire paper Bolt paper. Hang on to the rest of that inside. Sure, when you put a lot into arcane, I'll say it's pretty fun. Uh, what are some of the benefits to it? Like what? What are some of the aside from using items like Beast Roar, the gloves, uh, the Call from Beyond, the Brightus, the Augur, Phantasm Shell, and all these other things? Gold Bludgeon. What the fuck are you? I've never broken Amelia, uh, Amelia's pendant before. I'm curious. Back, I'll get another attack up. Got anything wrong? No. Human enemies. Augers OP to everyone, really. Hmm. Maybe I'll give that a shot on next playthrough. Hey, what are you? Pack up, down to kin. Saw cleaver? 
That actually doesn't mean a whole lot to me because I don't use Saw Cleaver against Ken. Cheek. Go blue across the boards. No. What's Ken? Um, things like the Celestial Emissary. Uh, the blue things that kind of have the tentacles grow from their heads. Um, things that cast magic, essentially. Um, like Abridus, she's she's kin. Um, the kin are essentially the the old ones, like Moon Presence and Murgo and the Amygdala. All those weird looking squid motherfuckers. Those are all kin. Take a crack at Ludwig. Yeah, I that there was a portion of, of this playthrough that I actually specced a lot of my um my my blood gems that were good against Kin onto the Tenitris because Kin tend to be weak to lightning, um, and just tricking out the Tenitris with those those Kin Hunter gems, plus its trick up state, like one shotting enemies of that type, just like it wasn't even it wasn't even a challenge to take them out. Um, even on the on the Amygdala. Who admittedly is resistant to blunt damage is super weak to lightning. Actually, Amadella is super weak to lightning. Uh, lightning, fire, arcane. Yeah, they're also weak to thrust attacks. Which is where, um, like, the Chicago is. Is that a stab? Yeah, the Chicago's got a downward stab. Um, I was using the stake driver in its tricked up state because each each attack is a lunge. All right, so let's be very cautious. Blood vials. Like, I don't see this old lady. She gets me. She got me like the first three times I came through here. No more pebbles. And now this dude right here always drops blood vials and he always drops like five or six of them. You can farm him. Alright. Yeah, so we'll, we'll I'll I'll do a solo run against Ludwig a couple times. Um and if I can't, I know Valter spawns around here. Um, or something like that, if I have the impurity rune on. You can, but you, but you need to have his, 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 his rune on. Uh, the impurity rune. time that I beat Ludwig, um, I beat him solo. But I think I might have Walter held just for the sake of it. Um, and for anyone that's read Berserk, this is Rao's horse, the demon horse. Have mercy. Have 
guess? Um, I don't know, actually. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure. <laughs> it's a Ludwig. Alright, great start. This is the bad one. Top it off. Can we... yeah. uh, I will say... <laughs> I didn't drop the beast pellet, but I'm doing pretty good damage <laughs> without it. <laughs> Admittedly, I, I have a lot of problem with his first phase. All along. Uh, but now he's a type of enemy I know how to fucking fight. <laughs> Moonlight Greatsword, the real one, the real one. There are two real ones, one exists in Demon Souls, and I think even that's the, 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 the truer one. Pop it up, there we go, get in here. Back up, AoE. One shot Ludwig! <laughs> One shot Ludwig! <laughs> What's up? <laughs> oh my goodness, the saw cleaver is by far my favorite weapon ever. <laughs> it's the best! <laughs> and that is no bullshit, I did not play this game at all since the last stream. I have a second character, I have a third character rather that I'm pretty much at this fight, but that character is level 78. And I, re I literally just grabbed a saw cleaver out of the shop, built it up, and it, it doesn't even fucking compare to what I just did. Praise that sun. Hydrate. Hydrate. Out of all the bosses, that I have fought so far. This is the one that I thought was going to be my wall for a bit. But no. Didn't need... Beast Pellet just needed the, the, the fire paper. That was insane. Now there's actually... A dude around here that I can talk to. Him. I think I can talk to these guys. Um hey, we gotta we gotta pop that lamp. And um we're also going to change our clothes real quick. Yeah, because I know he gets fucking crushed. <laughs> Those of you tuning in just now, welcome to the channel. I am Jay the Antarian Sage, and we just one-shotted Ludwig. It was bonkers. I've never done that before. 
Uh, so let's put on white church garb. Uh, uh, now I don't think you need to put on the whole set. I think you just need the gloves. But I like to do it just as precaution. Tell me, good hunter of the church, have you seen the light? Are my church hunters the honorable Spartans? I hoped they would be. Yeah, we'll actually do a quick uh, good. check around the room that to make sure if that one dude know, on the ground survived. I suffer such denigration for nothing. Thank you. Kindly. Now I may sleep in even in this dark. Oh, did I did I nights. choose the wrong thing? Did I mess I up? The moonlight. I think I still got it. Yeah. Holy moonlight sword. Cruelty is real. <laughs> Would that count as animal cruelty of me just like whooping on him as hard as that, as hard as I just did? I don't think so. He's not a real horse. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look because I know. Was it him? I think it was him. Oh, where is it him? Speak friend and enter. Yeah, no, I think I think he died. Yeah, he died. Did I pop the lamp? I did pop the lamp. One of these days, I'll do this fight where he fucking survives. Blood vials, and now we can progress with the playthrough. Shrouded by night, but with steady strife. Who's talking? Who are you? Heard, but oh, that's right. <laughs> Brador. Only the true blades of the church. Kage it up. Thinking back, I think that first roof drop from Ludwig killed him. But that's that's quite possible. Oh gun back with a gun. Man, you are packing the heat, dude. Ooh, Alexir, I'm so used to you guys giving me bullets. That's quite possible. I mean, I I can't remember what what side of the the arena he was on. Emptied cold blood. Yes, yeah, so for everyone tuning in now, uh, thanks for showing up. Um, how you guys feeling? Are you fans of Bloodborne? What are your theories? I don't think there was anything left in these rooms. He's so big, he like, he should be an enemy. Oh, it's the fist of Roddy. It's the fucking fist of Gratia. Let's read this. Chunk of iron fitted with finger holes. The hulking hunter woman, simple Gratia, uh, ever hopeless when handling hunter firearms preferred to knock the lights out of knock ugh, to knock the lights out of beasts with this hunk of iron which incidentally caused heavy stagger gratia was a fearsome hunter and to onlookers uh, her unrelenting pummeling appeared oddly heroic uh, no wonder this weapon later assumed her name there a hunter in one of these uh, yeah i think he's down he's he's down the steps um, 
Let's have a little fun with Gratia's fist. Yeah. I know people who use this as a justifiable strategy. But I feel safe with my cannon. Um, I think his door is locked at the moment, though. Yeah, he's right in here. Are you a hunter? Well, that's very odd. Do you hear the toll of the bell? For whom the bell tolls? Liar. Such pettiness will be defeated. You thief will not be found here. Go back to your hunt. And if you have the chance, put this knife behind you. Place is better left untouched. Secrets better left alone. Only a fool would so brazenly roll. Okay, so open the door. Action. Locked. Okay, cool. Let's... Progress. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, I remember this now. I remember this shit. Get that ready. I'm up on this side. That other hunter has a fucking holy sword. There she is. Yeah, she tried to do the combo. And magic's flying. in the back. Aha! <laughs> Rose strats. Um, I don't know how to cheese them. I just really kind of feel these fights out a lot. Fancy with the gun. Now I have no fear. Curse of Kane is shit. fear in that. And then it's knowledge. And what do you drop? Clicks over bullets. What do we got from you? Good one's wisdom. Praise the art one spam, as it can probably be heard. Lambent rats. There's a knife. A 
Blackstone Chunk, nice. Very nice. You can see how I'm holding this controller right now. It's like a claw. Let's see now. Inoperable. I feel like I missed something. <laughs> Was I supposed to have like some kind of I key or something? I think. Right? Shrouded by night, but with steady strife. Round under the church. Be sure, curse, and curse is a shackle. Only oh, yeah, the true blades of the church. That is, um. My favorite armor set in the game. Hold on a second, we're gonna... Do just a smidge of backtracking. I think I might have missed something. Find the keys later though. So then, from here, where do I go? Uh, could it be in the Grand Cathedral? I'm doing a quick, quick search. Uh, Bloodborne. I keep. Old hunters. Yeah, I need the eye pendant. Over to the research hall, but where do I get it? Hunter's nightmare. Okay. Right, no, 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 I, I, I know that, but I, I need to get that key first. Um, that's how I get to the research lab, is with that. We need to get our, we, we need to get back to the Grand Cathedral. Yeah, and the Corpse of Lawrence is in the Grand Cathedral. Pebbles. Which I have nigh infinite of. Uh, you know what would have would, would be smarter for me to do? Go back to the fucking hunter's dream. Re up on blood vials. And then come back out. Real quick. Do I have anything new? No. Um, I did get a new badge from beating the, the beast guy. Because I can get the boom hammer now? Yeah, 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 boom hammer. Also, I, I, I got the uncanny and now it becomes available. That's interesting. Cool. Alright. Um, let's maybe grab a level real quick. I think I can get one of them. Welk, what is very well, let me a 
such a nice and even spread of stats. Farewell, good hunter. All right. Hammer, hammer, perch. Yes, yeah, so I think I will get to the research lab, and then that's probably where I'll wrap it tonight, and pick it up. Um, actually, next Thursday, because I'm, I'm not going to stream next Tuesday. Actually, no, maybe I will in at, 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 at night. Um, but yeah, so if anything, I'll, I'll pick it up then next Tuesday. Gotta fight these guys with no fear. Get hit, you get hit. It's gonna happen. Ooh! Get the spin move. Also, see if we can get past this guy. <laughs> All right. I've been informed by the wiki that he does not aggro if I take the item. Thank you. We run. We run fast. I think he only aggroes if I actually hit him or something. I'm, uh, I'm not fighting Lawrence. <laughs> not yet. Okay, yeah, right. Okay, okay. Yeah, we'll fight Lawrence later. Uh, maybe I'll beef up the uh, Whirly Gig again and. Have some fun with that. While well, it's on my mind, let's do that. Repair weapons, as we always should. Um, and fortify. That fucking whirly gig. Bam. I need more bloodstone shards. Need probably about twelve.
Yeah, I still need three more. Uh, get rid of this. I'm not gonna use. I'm not gonna eat that. 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 A boom hammer. Hold the Garrus's wheel away. Hang on to that. Although no, can't use it confidently. So what's the point? Kage stays. Okay. Just for shits and giggles. <laughs> For anyone curious about ye old, I can't even use it. Um, I would love to show you guys the Moonlight Great Sword, but my arcane is just not high enough. That's okay. Just know that it's dope. Simon. Tragic figure, but he will shame himself no longer. He died with his ideals untarnished. He was a true hero, and then he did. I killed him. Shrouded by night, but with steady strife. Alright, so old big guy. All the good stuff. Rats. We'll just hang out back there because I don't care. Now we insert the eye pendant. Now he has eyes on the inside. Wasn't there something also like underneath this platform like I can take it back down and there was a particular like secret item like a blood rock or something? Well, let's go back down. Let's send it up and then go back down again. I'm pretty sure there's something. What do you mean? Yeah, totally. Yes, Lawrence's skull. This chest. And in said chest, I believe. Oh no, it's the church cannon. Oh, look at that. It's 
take a look at that. Oversized weapon. Alright. And that back down. I think there's another set of elevators. Um, and at the base of one of those is the Blood Rock. Really? Got a pull switch? No. Go. Oh. I like my setup. Thaw Cleaver. Evelyn. Uh, yeah, Evelyn. Kage. Cannon. The research hall. Where the real shit begins. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, totally. I will sign the ever living crap out of that jazz master. This case, it's nitrous. We gotta set up a day. And someone. I feel like I shouldn't have killed that person. Well, there it is. They're dead now. That's probably a harmless one. Chunks. A little bit of cleanup down here. Actually, no. We can we can rock the saw cleaver. Use Chicago. Is this open yet? No, on this side. Okay, um, I think this is as good a place as any. Elixir and just out before poison takes effect. Over to just chatting to hang with you guys for a little bit. Um, so yeah, successful stream, successful stream, uh, had a lot of you guys come in, hang out, that was cool, you guys are cool people, um, I like doing these late night ones, just a bit more in my element, I feel, um, we beat Ludwig in one, with a strat I saw, Literally once in a video. And it wasn't even the full strat, it was a half strat. Um Yeah, so I will be doing this again on Tuesday. Probably around the same time, ten thirty, eleven o'clock. Um I think if I do it at ten thirty, I'll go for two hours. If I start at eleven it'll be about roughly ninety minutes. Um I got to sleep. Uh, but yeah, I had a lot of fun on this stream. It was a whole lot of fun just playing this game and chatting it up with you guys. It was, it was great. Awesome. You guys are the best. I love all of you. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for Saturday uh, at 9.30 in the morning. Um, for those of you that are morning folk, uh, stream mom, my lovely lady. Uh, is streaming Dragon Quest Builders 2. You can come watch her build 
or Barbie Dream House and feed all the animals and make cool things. Yes. Um, and then, like I said, next Tuesday night, uh, next Tuesday, back with more Bloodborne, we'll tackle the research hall. Um, yeah, we'll tackle the research hall in its entirety, take on living failures, and maybe Lady Maria. The dopest fight in the game. Um, and then after that, we will take on the fishing hamlet. I hate that fishing hamlet so much. Um, or, maybe, or maybe we'll fight Lawrence and then do fishing hamlet after that. But either way, either way, um, it's Bloodborne next week, twice a week, uh, and then Saturdays will be another Gen Plays stream. Um, after Bloodborne is done, um, I will be taking a hiatus for the summer. Um, to kind of get things sorted and get life together. Because uh, I will divulge this here. Um, Jen and I are uh, planning on moving to uh, Jersey. Uh, she works from home. She Her office is based in Jersey, technically. And we have to move at some point. So, sooner than later. Um, and I'm going to miss everybody. Everybody here in New York. Lived here my entire life. Met a lot of really great people, played in a lot of really cool bands. Um, to which, I've been throwing this around my head a lot, because I find myself doing it more, awesome, more often than not, um, is... Is uh, running through some of the old tunes which you guys there in immense here. Um, uh, I've toyed with the idea of seeing if you guys let me back into the fold. Uh, if you guys haven't found another guitar player. Um, I have plans to get my license. Um, you see. Um, again, this is a conversation I'm really not suited for here, but, you know, something I, I often thought about, uh, would, would it be cool to rejoin Mencia? I don't know. It's a thing I've been thinking about. Will it actually happen? I don't know. It's something that I lean very much toward some days more than others um it was just a lot of fun i had a lot of fun playing the shows um and just hanging out with you guys it was, it was, a, it was a whole lot of fun um i miss it but conversation for a later time uh and if i were to drive definitely um a commute would be possible for me to I would imagine, you know, make it to practice, make it to shows, all on my own. Um, but, I digress. If I was to rejoin Mencia, would that be a cool thing? Would that not be a cool thing? Have you guys already solidified yourself as a four-piece? I would imagine so, it's been, a, it's been about a year or so. But, all that aside, all that aside. Um... So yeah, I'm Jay the Antarian Sage. All my socials are beneath you. I'm here on Twitch Tuesdays and Thursdays at 11 a.m. and 10.30 to 11 p.m. Uh, my lovely lady, Kiriana, stream mom, Jen, uh, takes over the stream, takes over the channel on Saturday mornings at 9.30. Um, so yeah, come hang, out, come hang out with us. It's a good time. A lot of great people. Lovely community. Um, yeah, we just love it. We love hanging with you people, we love playing video games, it's just great, and it's therapeutic, for me particularly. Um, but until then, I will see you guys next Tuesday, and maybe I'll see you guys Saturday.
I don't know. We'll see. Um, so take care. Love you lots. Equinox. Go move your blood gems around. And, uh, yeah. Have a good night and a pleasant tomorrow. And I'll see you in the next one. Sage out. That was lame. Ugh.